have you ever wondered how easy it is to cheat in your Unity game? Many people think that changing their scripting backend from Mono as some sort of cure-all will solve their problems. Well, let me show you a little example. I will create a new Unity project and write a simple clicker game prototype. Now you can click, get clicks and buy nothing. Let's build it. It is easy now for me to change the clicks with Cheat Engine or other similar tools. This is not limited to clicks in this build, but extends to all the variables in your game, such as experience points, attack power, and other. Let's simply project the memory to hide the actual values. Cheat Engine no longer finds it. However, it is still easy to change the value. I can use the popular dumper tool to effortlessly dump metadata and get offset strings and signatures. Now that I have the offset and the signature of the original method, I can create a new C++ project and write a simple hook that changes the value when called using the minhook library. There are many tools like Melon Loader that allow people to modify your game, change fields, or call methods even easier than what I did now. Let's add mfuscator to the Unity project and rebuild it. It seems that everything works as usual and nothing has changed. But let's try using Dumper again. What about Melon Loader? Mfuscator has modified the Unity editor, making the build pattern unique and the metadata encrypted. Unlike standard mono obfuscation methods, this does not affect the performance or operability of your game, and at the same time makes normal operation of all Unity C++ related tools impossible. Hacking IL2CPP games has never before been simpler than with Melon Loader. 